Okay, hey, hey, does anyone need to use the repeater or need a signal report before I begin this morning's traffic net for the 20th of December 2015? No station heard. Good morning. This is Cycle one of the ARRL Western Massachusetts Traffic Net. This is meets daily at 10 a.m., 10, 15 or so on Sunday on the Nobart Mount Trailer, K1FFK, 146.91162.2 toned repeater. The purpose of this net is to handle any messages between the cities and towns of Western Massachusetts and to provide liaison to the first region net that meets on a frequency of 3.948 megacycles at 1345 and 1600 local time. This is a direct net. Please do not break the net on those who have emergency. Or priority traffic police and I'll leave the net without first informing net control whenever possible. When checking in, please go slowly. Speed is not a criteria. Thank you, thank you. Your net control station today is November 1, Quebec Oscar Victor and 1QOB. My name is OB Oscar. Bravo India Echo. Currently, I am running emergency generator power. Generator power. I have no traffic for the net at this time, and I am located in Pittsfield, Berkshire County, Commonwealth of Massachusetts. At this time, are there any stations holding Emergency or priority trip. Emergency priority. Go to. Not recognizing King of the Mic. I know no intelligence stations heard. Anyway, okay, now looking for our first region liaison station or a representative there of <laughs> Alpha Bravo One Tango Charlie Paul, please call and listen to the track. This is Al Alpha Bravo One Tango Charlie, AB1GC. I got a little bit of a cold. Uh, it's about 30 degrees. In Ringe, New Hampshire, and the clearance sunny. Good morning, Obi. Good morning to the rest of the net. I'm uh, running battery power, and I have no traffic for Western Mass from Region 1. Back to net control. Okay, and the net lists Alpha Bravo 1 Tango, Charlie Paul, battery power with. No traffic from First Region for Western Mass. I, I noticed you had a couple messages for me when I was doing a bunch of other things, and um, I have to look at them later. Uh, anyway, 30 degrees. Okay, where are we here? Uh, now looking for stations uh, with traffic or announcements. Traffic or announcements, anyone can generate traffic or bring announcements to the net. Traffic or announcement, your call signs, please. K one F F K. Okay, no station heard, and that still lists no traffic. Okay, now looking for any station, any station anywhere, anyhow, all are welcome and encouraged to participate in the Western Mass traffic net. Geez, I heard what, did I hear something about a, uh, a Russian nuclear plant leaking a little bit of uh, radioactive steam? Anyway, uh, looking for any station with or without, please 
check in now. This is... This is Kilo Bravo 1 Zulu November Yankee KB1 ZNY Bill Lancaster, Massachusetts. We are running commercial power and have no traffic. Good morning. This is... This is Kilo Charlie 1 Bravo Yankee Delta Rich Mobile. Uh, Williamstown, Massachusetts. Battery power, no traffic. Good morning. This is Kilo Charlie 1 Echo 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 Brian Mobile Battery Power North Adams. No traffic. Okay, running down the list myself, commercial power, Alpha Bravo and Tango, Charlie Paul battery, uh, KB1 ZNY, Bill Commercial, KC1 BYD, High Rich battery, uh, private eye, KC1 EEE, -E -E, uh, Brian battery, N2JNT, Jack Commercial, and WA1NTI, John Commercial, <laughs> I noticed there was no HF members. Everybody, uh, additional stations for the Western Mass traffic. Here is KB1 JOA, name here still, mobile in uh, Washington, and uh, I have no traffic. Okay, New York Station, can you come again, please, with the call sign and name? Thank you. Kilo Delta 2, Foxtrot Kilo Hotel. My name's George, Commercial Power, no travel. Okay, additional stations. And finishing up on this part of the list, and okay, B1 JOA, high fill, battery in the wilds of wherever, and KB2, Foxshot, Kilo, well, Foxshot Romeo Kilo. Uh, anyway, I can't read my own writing. It's my mistake. George, commercial power over there in two land. I'm going to go with KD2FKR. Whatever. I'll look it up. Anyway, all those not involved in trip gaming, of which there is none, may secure. I thought I heard. I thought I heard. Uh, Anyway, looks like this is the third money of the month, so that uh, uh, usually means 
The Newcomers Roundtable that will be held Monday night. It's nobody's uh, nobody's got anything to do. Uh, when is this? Oh, Monday nights at uh, seven thirty. This repeater. All oh, welcome. Newly licensed hams, upgraded hams, and old timers alike. <laughs> Informal get together. They call it a net, but anyways, um, I'm not sure whose turn it is. And this is usually always held the first and third Mondays of the month. Again, 7.30, the three Peter. Also, HF Stuff, 10 meters, a rag chew get-together, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 0830. Frequency, 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 28.450. Again, rag chew get-together, 10 meters, Tuesdays. And Thursdays, 0830. Okay, next pass of the ISS is 1224. This is noonish time. It's almost directly overhead moving up the East Coast. Again, 1224 pass of ISS. And I don't think they're really doing anything on voice, but apparently they're, they're going to start doing some uh, slow scan TV stuff later this month. I don't have the exact dates in front of me, but I mean. And finishing up on this round, currently in Pittsfield, overcast 31 degrees, wind out of the northwest at 10. Gusting to Tango Oscar, 24 miles an hour, wind chill 22 degrees. Looks like clear but cold, uh, rain moving in Monday night, but warming uh, rain until uh, the rest of the week. Okay, additional stations for the Western Mass Traffic Net. This is N1QOV, your call signs, please. Okay, listing N1A and B, Doug Commercial. I saw the pictures on the uh, on the thingy there. <laughs> Nobody looked too cold. Everybody, most people had their gloves off. Uh, but anyway, I think it was cold. And K1RAA, Roger Commercial, additional. Okay, again, all those not involved traffic counting. I wish there was not a nice career as I finish up on the who cares about what announcements. It's the day of mourning, like uh, boo hoo hoo mourning in Panama. Because we stole Panama from the other country, right? Right? <laughs> Louisiana Purchase Day in the U.S. of A. You know, the. USA has been in a war almost every year since whatever. And continuing on in Mexico, it's uh, whatever day of the nine days of Las Posadas. K, what, F, F, K. Here in the USA, National Sangria Day. I haven't had uh, wine for a number of years. And Mud Day, Mud Day, I guess, as in... Uh, the doctor that fixed somebody's broken leg or whatever. International Human Solidarity, Solidarity Day. Just going to hide in my house and watch I Love Lucy reruns. Anyway, on the other list, Cathode Ray Tube Day. Hey, this is a new one. Cathode Ray 
tube down to post that. Dot your eyes, they. And don't stick a sharp pencil in your eye. Well, games day, go caroling day, go caroling day, go caroling day, day, day. International uh, mud day. Uh, uh, Sacagawea. Sacagawea. That sounds like something to do with Native or American. Sacagawea. Anyway. Club news. Northern Birch Amateur Radio Club.org. January 24th, 7 p.m. Next meeting at the Berkshire Humane Society Building. 214 Marker Road, Pan, Pittsfield. The Novark elections are posted on the front page and they're listing straight key night. CW style straight key night. January 1st. Uh, I think these are still going on today. Croatian CW contest. ARRL Rookie Roundup at the 20th. And I think Run for the Bacon is still going on. And something else is going on tomorrow. But whatever. Solar Flux is at 119, 119, AS12, KS5. And the count is 44. And finally, there is a pretty good sizable amount of VHF, UHF openings in our area, stretching up from Philadelphia up into Ottawa, Canada. So there you go. Uh, additional stations before I shut down here. I don't want to kill people. Okay, I guess everybody's complacent and happy with the way things are. So, oh, what do we got here? The additional questions, comments, anything, anything, anything for the net before I close. N one A and D comment. Hey, take your time. <laughs> What's that? How'd it go, uh, Doug? Oh, it was really quite chilly. Very chilly, windy, wind, you know, about 34, 5 degrees, and uh, uh, very windy, 30 mile an hour gusts. Uh, Sacagawea, Captain. Sacagawea was a female American uh, Indian, uh, uh, Native American, who helped guide Lewis and Clark on their expedition, and she and her little papoose are on the coin. A dollar, a golden coins, dollar coin. <laughs> okay, what a memory, what a guy. Hey, who says you can't get an education on amateur radio, even Mount Greyline? I was going to say that's who that was, and uh, but whatever. Actually, I was uh, down at the Columbia River where that, that, uh, uh, whatever stream comes into the Columbia, and that's right where they came down to the Columbia River down that stream. When was I there? 1970-something. And leave from Fort Hood, Texas. But who cares, right? Anything further? <laughs> Mr. Tall, white, and handsome. Okay, uh, and one QOV. Take care of that call there. My friend. And what are you going to do? Back to that. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. Uh, what else? Did Dan listed something else. I forget. Okay. All right, never mind. Uh, the next the regularly scheduled traffic nut is uh, when is it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So, with that, this closes the cycle one of the ARRL Western Massachusetts Traffic Net. I'd like to thank the Northern Birch Amateur Radio Club for the use of the Mount Greylock K1FFK 146.91162.2 tone repeater. The time is now 10 hours and 34 minutes, 1034 hours. I now return the repeater back to regular amateur use.
thing at 12 stations who checked in and those who stood by while this net was being conducted. And thing to say thank you, Sagittaria, for hanging out with those guys. <laughs> this is November 1, Quebec Oscar Victor and 1 QV. I was saying clear, 730. You can't do that on the phone. The net is closed. KC1BYD. Hey, Richeroni. <laughs> Did you order any good uh, private eye supplies lately? Any what kind of supplies? Private investigator. <laughs> yes, sir. Got a few few toys there. Uh, I was curious if anybody, if you could throw me on the list for the nets there. Uh, I ran into a ham last night, 30-plus uh, years, uh, doesn't have a radio, and uh, we got to talking last night, and uh, he would be interested in getting back into it. He just re-upped his license, and uh, he doesn't have a rig, so I'm going to try to track down a maybe 2-meter 440 for him. He's in Springfield, so he should be able to hit the repeater from his house there. Ah, let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what I have. Uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. I don't imagine one of those uh, ball fang, uh, whatever, L, what, do -do -do what, uh, for $30 or, or the practice. Uh, what, uh, what one of those ball fang, uh, the other Chinese ones would work into Greylock from. From uh, Springfield. Comment. So I was thinking if he maybe put an external antenna on it or something like that, maybe something like that. Uh, he's got a Radio Shack model. He rattled it off. The battery's dead. No charger for it. I'll try to get the model from him today. See if I can't track down a battery. Uh, but you know, somebody had an old uh, Kenwood or uh, I think maybe even a Bofang if you put an antenna up. Comment. No comment. Yeah, I, um, this is AB1TC. Um, I've done a lot with the bowfangs, and, um, I have quite a collection. In some of the earlier ones, you could do anything you want with. Um, I'd be willing to donate this, this guy one if he, um, you know, he was happy with that if he was going to use it, along with a charger. And all you need in, from Springfield is just the 18-inch uh, whip antenna. You don't need to install anything outside or anything. Yeah, I was wondering about that because I was in Belchertown last night, and with my uh, Yesu handheld, I actually hit the, uh, this repeater, so... I think Paul said he was on one right now. I got to move him around a little bit there, Paul. K1FFK. Yeah, how about now? Um, yeah, I, I often do. I, I I often check into the net with a bowfang, and uh, I must be at least seventy-five miles from you, hundred miles. Back to Paul and Rich. Yeah, thank you. Um, first off, would you uh, are you in Pittsfield or Springfield? wrong with all my radios or is it the other end I'm not sure it's it's like on my end somebody sounds like they're keying up it's just uh, squelching up and, and static and then it clicks out 
Yeah, I got the same thing. Break. Good. Yeah, this is uh, KC1 EEE. -E. Um, hey, Rich. Um, I was actually down at Holyoke yesterday with my Baofeng. I have a UV72 antenna with antenna on top of my car, and I was hitting the repeater just fine. Oh, cool. I got I got one of the whips. Uh, what is it? The 17-inch uh, that I can donate to them as well. Uh, but if you let me know, I think it was Paul. Uh, if you want anything for it, let me know. And if you want to contact him direct, I'll try to get him and his information to you. Or you can go through me and I can drop it off. Uh, do you have an account on Facebook? Uh, yes, I do. Um, if you're friends with Obi, Obi can give you the d give you my name on Facebook, and um, just send me a friend request, and then I'll uh, um, with the message system we can exchange addresses, and I'll drop it in the mail. Okay, and now uh, what do you want for it? Nothing. I'll give it to him. Oh, very awesome! All right, uh, what's uh, what's your name on on the friends list there? Hey, hold on a sec. I'll get it to him on the phone. You can pass it along, Obi. I'd rather not do it over the year. Uh, that's uh, Alpha Bravo One Tango Charlie in in uh, where is he? New Hampshire, Rinch, New Hampshire, and one two. Okay, and uh, what's the address again? Three three seven eight Alpha Bravo One Tango Charlie. Three three seven eight Alpha Bravo One Tango Charlie. Okay, I'll find. I'll, I'll watch for it, and then uh, we'll try to get it to him before Christmas. Your other, the, the other person that the other station that broke in and um, mentioned his uh, rooftop antenna. Um, I've used that setup too, and I've gotten tremendous results. I mean, it, it, there's a car adapter you can get to it. it; replaces the battery pack and plugs into the cigarette lighter, so you basically have a five-minute install mobile unit, too, if you wanted to do it. Um, but for now, this will give him a base, and uh, he can go from there. Yep, I used the 17-whip uh, with an antenna mount, uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, a glass mount, that you just kind of roll up in your window there. And that's my backup, so I don't run this radio all night long on my 12-and-a-half-hour shifts and uh, kill my main battery. Uh, that's bad during the cold. So I run the uh, Bofang uh, connected to that window mount, and it seems to work fine. Yeah, they do. Um, all right, so that'll be the plan. I'll watch for your friend request, and then uh, we'll do that.
and uh, you guys usually have a good QSO going about your antennas and you're uh, moving them around your deck out there. You have a much better memory than I do, and when I made that move, what an improvement for Greylock. I wish my memory was that good. Well, when that goes, that's going to be what I miss the most, I think. All right, guys, i got to get to the market here, so uh, happy holidays. See you in back. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. KC1BYD listening. Putting that additive into the diesel in the bulldozer, uh, Doug. <laughs> oh, is that, is that what it is, Obi? He's out there putting power service in his tank there, yeah. So it doesn't gel up. Uh, I, uh, I'm very familiar with that. <laughs> okay, see you later. N1, A, and D listening. <laughs> yeah, he forgot. You've got to clean the tracks off so it's stuck in the mud. Well, anyway, I remember those days. <laughs> Knee deep in frozen water in the, in the cellar hole. See you later. N1 kill me quick. 